I've been waiting all day for my BoxyCharm package and it didn't arrive, but the show must go on. So we're going to do my empties today. So I love watching empties videos because you know that makeup lovers like me or beauty lovers like myself tend to not hit pan very often or tend to not empty you know beauty products very often because we try so many things and we don't stick to just one thing when we do run out of something it's like a big deal today we're going to talk about my body and skincare empties first off first one that i've emptied is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. So I know everyone raves about this. Everyone loves this cream. The full size is about $34 at Sephora. It smells like coconuts. I love the smell of it. And it's really an award-winning product at Sephora. A lot of people really raved about this. And sadly, I did not like it. I was not impressed. Maybe because I have thick crocodile skin, but this is just not cutting it. They always say how it makes your legs shiny and tight. Mm, I don't think so. That might work for somebody who has very smooth legs. I have very textured legs. I have a lot of scarring. As far as the lotion goes, it just wasn't as moisturizing as I had hoped. I felt like I had to get a whole jar of it before I could really feel that intense moisture seeping into my skin, especially on my legs. On my arms, it's okay. I felt like it disappeared immediately into the skin, but it didn't give me that burst of hydration. So not my favorite, not a fan. And if it's for the body, it's just, a little bit too much, you know what I mean? You'd empty this immediately in like a week and I just don't want to um, spend too much on body cream. So to me, if you watch my previous empties videos, Jurgens, Jurgens body lotion, the one that ha that says ultra healing is still the number one for me. Sadly, bye bye to the bum bum cream. Another empty that I have, it's not really a full size. I try not to get a full size of anything until i'm sure and 100 percent sure that it is something that's going to work for me and that it's something that i love but this one i got in my loxiton box this is the almond d milk concentrate lotion and this is by loxiton and this is a lotion for the whole body it promises 48 our hydration and let me tell you i would definitely get this over the bum bum cream actually i prefer the smell of this over the bum bum cream the bum bum cream has kind of like a coconutty pistachio-y scent um but this one is more on the almond scent i love this more it's definitely hydrating i've used it on my hands my elbows my knees and it is a pricey product um from L'Occitane and, and a full size will probably cost you an arm and a leg, but it's a great product. I highly recommend it. The next item that I've emptied is not new to my empties videos. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. How many bottles of these have you guys seen me go through? I've gone through so many bottles of these and a lot of times I get this half off at the Ulta sales. This is an amazing face moisturizer. It's lightweight. It's somewhere between a gel and a cream. You guys know, I'll link some of my videos that describe this. I'm not gonna talk about it way too much, but one of my most favorite moisturizers, it's non-comedogenic and it's actually clean beauty at Sephora. I actually already have a backup bottle from Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale, so it's already waiting for me to open. Oh my gosh, this is so old. The Michael Todd. It's a Kaolin clay detoxifying facial mask. Now you can use clay mask two ways. You can use it as a spot treatment, but you can also use it as an overall face mask. And to me, I'm not a fan of doing like clay mask because I feel like it's time consuming. I'm too lazy to wash off the mask. I like sheet mask because after I put it on my face, I can just take it out, throw it away, massage the excess serum into my skin, and I'm done. But this one, you know, clay mask takes a little bit of extra work. On the other hand, this is a great spot treatment, guys. It has kaolin or kaolin clay 
um, witch hazel and sulfur and all of those products really work at extracting and clarifying the pores and removing dirt and grime this is great for oily blemish skin I use this as a spot treatment and it dries out my pimple overnight and the best part it's an organically based skincare since I've been using it only as a spot treatment I've had it for over two years I think and it, it's not really empty and I can show you what it looks like like it's like a brownish grayish clay if you have an acne prone skin this is amazing the next empties that I have is my way leave-in conditioner it's about $26 for four ounces I got this in my FabFitFun box so I got it at a very affordable price basically it gives heat protection and um, like it said it's a leave-in conditioner this helps with detangling with conditioning the hair throughout the day what I love about it is that it doesn't wear your hair down it just moisturizes it gives you that kind of silky smooth hair is definitely a great product I highly recommend it oh this one I got I got sucked in to buying a full size of the Ole Hendrickson um, C rush brightening serum this has three sources of vitamin C and rows of winter extracts this smells like orange by the way it wasn't until I bought a full size of this that I realized I'm not a fan of the vitamin C ingredient um, vitamin C can tend to be sticky this is considered a moisturizer so it's a moisturizer that has vitamin C ingredients it didn't feel as hydrating and that's coming from someone who has oily skin okay guys but for overnight I want something that's a little bit more stronger when it comes to hydration and this didn't do it I didn't notice any type of brightening on my face I guess it's really hard to observe skincare you really got to observe it over time and take before and after pictures but you know who's got time for that this is uh 46 dollars for 1.76 ounce at sephora so it's a pretty expensive jar of moisturizer if you are a fan of vitamin c though this is considered clean beauty at sephora so it might be something that you want to try but it's not my favorite skincare product this one i am going to buy a full size of i've only gotten this tiny little deluxe product this is the dr brandt hydrobiotic sleeping mask it's greenish in color this is actually has a gel consistency and so it's a very lightweight moisturizer um, and it's recommended to be used during the evening idea is it has a technology to really work with your skin overnight to help the skin with its um, recovery process as you sleep your body regenerates your body heals itself and this reduces redness and any type of irritation that you may be having on your face I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for this soon one of the pricier products is the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. You guys know I've raved about this. It has such fancy packaging. Look at that. I love this, but it's pricey as heck. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg at Sephora. It is $90 for one ounce. Basically, this is considered a chemical exfoliator so it's not a physical exfoliator but a chemical exfoliator it has 12 percent aha bha blend and so that really helps with regenerating the skin texture and turnover so that your skin can bring out the newer skin underneath if that makes sense so that's how i've seen it this has been great for my cystic acne i feel like when i use this serum you know my cystic acne starts to heal almost immediately or overnight so definitely be aware about what your skin needs when it comes to uh, using acids hopefully I'll be able to afford it again someday maybe at a Sephora sale who knows but highly highly recommend this product this is the last one this is the exfoliating sugar cubes by Harper and Ari I love these and they're so cute and I got the juice cleanse one which smells like apples by the way it's like an apple juice in a bottle oh basically they're just sugar cubes and they're um, flavored and scented and 
they're used to exfoliate your skin so i'll show you a picture of some of the products that they have online but basically they're little square cubes and you just get one wet it in the water and start rubbing away all of those dead skins this is around 16 dollars i believe for a jar like this size and also it's paraben and cruelty free so wow i'll definitely make sure to link um all of the items that i've mentioned in my description box below so in case you want to check it out in case you want to purchase it and try it yourself there were some hits and misses i think it's mostly hits though you know other than the bum bum cream and the olay hendrickson and even then olay hendrickson is such a great and amazing brand and so i highly recommend that brand in general those are all of my empties i hope you guys enjoyed looking through my trash i personally love watching these types of videos because i know that when something is empty you know it could be great that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on beauty and skincare reviews so subscribe join the family i really try to make sure that my reviews are very thoughtful and there's a, at least a little bit of research behind it oh by the way i do have a giveaway happening right now on my channel all you have to do is watch this video right here and just comment enter me on that video so i have a sheet mask bundle that i'm giving away for the month of april for reaching 200 subscribers so i'm really really grateful and excited and happy that i've made it to that milestone and looking forward for more looking forward to meeting new people new friends here on youtube hope you guys have a great great day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye